So students, we have discussed about the pollen pistil interaction and we have seen that the pollen tube enters the ovary and ultimately it enters the ovule and then it enters the embryo sac through the micropylar end. If you see, then you will observe that at the micropylar end of the embryo sac, there is the presence of a degenerating synergid. Now, as the pollen tube enters the synergid, it will burst open and it will release the male gametes in the cytoplasm of the degenerating synergid. And then what happens is that one of the male gametes comes and fuses with the egg cell. This method in which the male gamete fuses with the female gamete, that is the egg cell, is known as syngamy. And after this, there is the formation of the diploid zygote. This diploid zygote later undergoes repeated mitosis and it will form the embryo. Don't worry, we will study the embryo formation in details. So, what happens to the other male gamete? To understand that, we will first have to see just the structure of this embryo sac. In the embryo sac, the central cell contains the two polar nuclei. After some time, the two polar nuclei gets fused and it forms the diploid secondary nucleus. So students understand something. The other male gametes that is released, this male gamete will go and it will fuse with the diploid secondary nucleus and it will form the primary endosperm nucleus which will be triploid. So the central cell which contains the primary endosperm nucleus will now be called the primary endosperm cell. And this cell will undergo mitosis and it will form the endosperm after some time. This process in which the male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus to form the triploid primary endosperm nucleus is known as triple fusion. So you see, my dear students, that there are two fusions involved here. One is the process of syngamy and other is the process of triple fusion. So as there is two fertilizations or two fusions that are taking place, these two events, that is syngamy and triple fusion, are together known as double fertilization. The process of Triple fusion and double fertilization was discovered by Nawashin and Guignard in Lilium and Fritillaria. This information, though it is not there in your NCRT, but you need to remember it to answer the neat questions. So that was all in the topic double fertilization, syngamy and triple fusion. Hope you have understood this particular topic clearly.